Here we go, factory tour on the Thursday, the 1st of November. Christmas nearly here. This is a work boat, 7.4 metre one. Again, these boats today are all sea approved. Now, just show you this one, all the forward hatch done. This one's got twin Mercury Sea Pros on it. Very good motor. That's looking at the rear. This got the new ladder system on it. Well, this one here has got the uh, this for the floor. And that's the bottom hull, that's the, the hull that gets pressure tested, this one. And that's just to let the water, if you get some water over the back, that just lets the water out. This one's got double fenders on it, they, they haven't been fitted yet, they get fitted in Australia. Otherwise we can't fit it in the container. And that's the Sea Pro motor, 60 horsepower, 60 horsepower four stroke, with the four blade prop there, it performs very, very well. This is the new light mast. This extends up, this just comes out, that just goes forward. And there's the, uh, the dash on that one. And the other motor under there. Uh, beside it we've got a, this one's going to Queensland. This one's being used to push uh, barges. About a, a 40 tonne barge I think. So this one's slightly different, it's got the bracing bar in between for additional strength. Uh, you've got the big ass bollard here in the middle and then we've got the additional bollards uh, here. This is actually a, not just welded to the top, this goes through all the way down to the floor. Same on the other side, you'll see at the rear here, you'll see that bollard, again it goes through, through the gunwale all the way to the floor. So that's the dash setup. We didn't fit a motor to this one, this is having the motor fitted in Australia. And this one's going to be a 250 horsepower. This is a special one. We modified the transom for this one. It's got uh, extra bracing as you can see on top and there's additional bracing under the floor. Uh, just while we're at the back here, you'll see that's a stand, that's one of our standard fuel filters. The battery boxes with batteries in them. Uh, there's the fuel tank. You'll see at the rear here, that's the new step again. And we've got the, uh, the bilge pump outlet breather. And on the other side here, bilge pump outlet here. Again, this one's got the fenders top and bottom. Haven't been fitted, they'll get fitted in Australia. Uh, you'll see on this one, you'll see, I'll just stand back a little bit. You'll see there's four bunk plugs. The two on the very bottom, is for the uh, the hull, like the suspended floor, that all gets pressure tested. So on one side we put a, uh, a pressure gauge, on the other side we pressurise the hull, and then we check for leaks. Once we're happy there's no leaks, and those gauges come out and we put the bungs in. The two bungs you see on top, there and there, that's it for, for letting any water out on the floor. Again, that's the mast light, that just pulls out like that, goes up the front, Bob's your uncle. There's that bollard, big ass bollard. Yeah. So the boys here are drilling a, uh, this is another boat, it's a 5th WB 5900. Again, blue seems to be the flavour of the month. Again, this one's going to Queensland. This one hasn't got side fendering, it's got the standard fender, which stops just here. You see, that's the standard bollard. Still substantial. Um, all the boats come with the lifting lugs, navigation lights. Uh, but this is a plain standard out of the box. You see, that's the uh, boarding ladder again. Oh, these ones now come with the, the, the pads on here. So, again, we look down here, you'll see the, again, the fuel pump, oh, sorry, the fuel filter. Um, 
that's your cables, 400 amp cables we run through to an isolator, isolator being over there on the, on the, um, on the console. This one's just had another final coat of paint on the floor. It's like a rubberized non-slip, very, very good paint. You can see that's all your uh, connections there for your fuel tank. Everything's nice and neat and tidy. Seat, this seat's actually flotation as well, so that seat, um, it's not for storage. You can't cut holes in it. That's part of your flotation. These are all level flotation boats. These, they're not your sanded flotation. And that's that one there, all finished. What have we got over here? Oh, this is one of the new boats we're doing. It's called a Brute Punch. Again, they're, they're modelled after the, uh, the, the BP 5900 and 7400. A lot of the clients that we sold them to actually want a smaller version for their um, for family use. And we've had so many requests, we decided to put them into production. So this one's the first one. It's almost finished, but along the same lines, it's, you know, tough as. Uh, this seat here is actually also flotation. Plenty of storage, one, two, three storage up here. Uh, anchor bolt front. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a bollard foot here. Big ass bollard. And the seat, again, that just, uh, that bolts in. So that's also another flotation. Um, so this one here, this has actually got level flotation as well. So you've got the floor, which is pressurized. You've got the seat, which will go in here. You've got the front seat, again, which is uh, a, 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 an air chamber. So not a bad boat. They weigh about 300 kilos, one of them. They're four meters long, 1.7 meters wide. Uh, but as you can see, everything's heavy duty, same as the work boats. But it's more so for the, uh, the person that wants a decent boat to go on the rivers and maybe in the, on, on, in the bay on a not so choppy day. Uh, we come down the back here, we've got another brute punt. This is another one. That's a, This one's a five metre one. So this is the bigger brother of the, the brute punt four metre over there. But a uh, very similar boat. It sort of sits between the work boat, the WB5900, uh, slightly smaller. Oh, the boys are a bit on the floor now. So all these boats, they get the, the floors are all pressure tested. Again, this same as the other one, it's got the flotation here, the seat, the three storage. Noisy as here, but plenty of room. Beautiful boat. Very, very stable for fishing and safe as. See now they're just cleaning all this one up. This will be finished today. And then that'll go on the paint shop tonight. But looking very nice. So it's all been tacked. The boys will do all their long runs this afternoon. And that'll be painted tonight, ready to rock and roll. But nice boat. Then we've got a, another boat here, we're just waiting on propulsion answer on this one. That's a 10 metre by 3.5. The one in the background is that 12 metre ferry. Again, we're waiting on propulsion on that one. That doesn't come until January, so you'll probably see it in a few more videos. Let's go see what's happening out the back. Doesn't look like very much. I don't know, the boys are bending something here. They're bending some plate for something. I don't know. Look, another boat there, 6.1 metre. That one's going into the factory tonight. That's going to be painted and then outfitted. That gets a 140 horsepower uh, Suzuki on it, I think. That one. So this is a mono hull. Yep, that's all ready. Undercoat and then um, and then paint. We'll come back through the it's like a rabbit warren here. Oh, here's the rear seat for this brute punt. 
they've finished that now. It's got all the all the lugs put on it, but you'll see it's a substantial seat. But again, another air chamber, another safety feature. Oh, these are the consoles. It's the console for the the brute punt five meter. This one here. There's another console. Don't know what that one's for. Just a spare one, maybe. As we come over, we've got the CNC machine. That'll be cutting something for something. I don't know what. We'll have a look. I can look at this all day. Oh, this is a, these are brackets for the uh, for a seat somewhere. Great bit of kit. Switch it on. Walk away. That's our factory tour for today, Thursday, the 1st of November.